morning golf geeks. Welcome back to Slice Right Golf. This morning I'm back over at Dunton Hills. I haven't got to explain why I'm here. You all know why I'm over here, but what I'm gonna to do today is something a little bit different again. A friend of mine, Dennis at Bogey Golf, recently qualified in his regional Springfield Cup uh, area. Done really well, got to the Belfry. Excellent achievement. Well done, Dennis. Really, really rooting for you in that final at the Belfry. But what I noticed from watching his videos is that he hardly used a driver or any woods. It was a lot of irons off the tee. And he done really well. It made him straight, he made him on the fairway, and he scored well enough to qualify in the top six, which is a, it is a superb achievement. Again, super, super achievement. But it's got me thinking, what would I do if I played nine holes with just irons? So today, I've just got a bag full of irons. I've got four iron. Right the way down to 56 degree wedge, I've got my chipper, my ping chipper, and I've, today I've got my Odyssey putter that I'm gonna test out. I've got the four iron in my bag, but this is from another, an older set of mine that I've not been using, but I've just ordered a new club. I've just ordered a new Titleist utility iron, and it's, that's the closest I've got to it. So I'm gonna test it out today, but I'm gonna see how we go. Play nine holes, see what sort of score I can get with just irons alone. Let's go, let's see how we go. I'm gonna start with a four iron. Might as well, I put it in a bag for a reason. So I'm gonna start with a four iron. As it is the open weekend, I have my Titleist Pro V1 open golf ball. So even more pressure on me to play good golf because I don't wanna really wanna lose it because it's a special little golf ball for me. But I thought, do you know what? It's YouTube. I've just got out of the car, I've just paid. I've only got irons, so this is a, what does the card say? I'm playing a back nine, it's a par four, 386. It's a little dog leg left, as you probably all know from previous videos. I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna get to the, to the bushes there if I stay straight. I'm not gonna do much talking in this video. Fire! Just to each shot, I'll tell you what I've got in, what I'm using, what I'm looking to do, and then I'll play a little bit of music over it. Just a quick little video, see how low I can score, nine holes, irons only. Oh, that's a great start, geeks, look at that. Straight down the middle, I fell over a bit. But like I said, Jesus, that's better than me drive. Bang in the middle of them two bushes. Great start, geeks, great start, come on. Right, golf geeks, my app is saying three iron, which I haven't got, so four iron it is again. Be nice if I could hit one off, one like I did last time, but that one was off the tee, this one's off the ground. I don't think you can see the flag. It's over that, where that white post is, it's literally up there. I've still got about 190, 200 in, so I still think I'm going to be short, but. Bit tuggy off the ground, pulled it a bit left. Should be all right though, should be up there. So geeks, I would have made the green had I not tugged it a little bit left, so. Left me a little chip over a mound 56. Try and get it over the mound and close. It's not the greatest of lies. Oh, took an horrible bounce to the right, but it's on with a long putt for par. Yeah, I thought I'd give the old uh, Odyssey putter another go. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my tailor-made putter, absolutely love it, but it's always nice to have a little, little backup for when you're feeling a bit. You have a few bad rounds. I mean, if I have a bad round putting with this, the tailor-made's coming straight back in, but I do like this putter. Any of you out there that saw my box opening this putter and a review of why I got it, you'll know why. But I'm putting well at the moment with my tailor-made, so let's see if it continues with this. 
Long putt for Pardo. That's all right, that's all right. Barring a disaster, bogey start. Bogey start, irons only. No different to when I have wood so far. Just wanna say guys, I apologize if the camera angles aren't the greatest. My little uh, small tripod that I use for these sort of things is just broken so the legs aren't that straight. <laughs> So it's hard to keep it straight, but bogey start. These are the holes where it's gonna test me. This is a very, very long par five. This is 486 par five. That bush that's going right across the fairway there, I think it's gonna take me two to get to that alone. Normally I'm up there with a driver and I'm up by the green for two, but we've only ironed, we'll see how we go. Nice start like I just got off the tee with that last, I'll be perfect. Pushed it out to the right a bit. It's on the fairway, but just out to the right. Still, it didn't have to give me a tough shot. I thought I just, I think I just got to lay up, lay up to the bush and then play over. Right. That white post there by that the gap in the thing, that's 144 with the old range finder. So I'm gonna hit a five iron and see if I can get over and give myself a shot into the green. Ooh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, could be the open golf ball lost. Once again, golf geeks, forgot to press the uh, record. I found the open golf ball, which I'll show you up at the green. I dropped it here. I hit a seven iron and I put it to the back of the green. I will show you that golf ball to prove that I found it. There are golf geeks. Walking up to be bought at the back of the green. Just to prove that I found it, there it is. And I've got that shot in. So just off the green for four. This is my fifth shot. Par five. Be nice to chip it in with a drop shot, get a par. Club is soaking, so it's gonna run. But the greens are a bit wet, so it's not gonna, might hold it up. Got my chipper. So an horrible bounce. Pin eye, shan't moan. This putt for a bogey six with a drop. We'll take that. 339 par four with that ditch going right there across. Normally I'd be whacking driver just straight over the top. The gap in the, in the fence is 150 yards away. But with a wind, I don't think I can hit a four iron over the top. So I've got an eight iron in hand and I'm just gonna lay up to the ditch. And as you can see into the wind, that's an eight iron, and that's well short. Jesus, Jesus, golf geeks. From here, I've still got 200 in. I can only hit a four iron, that's all I've got. And that's gonna to be tough hitting that four iron out of there. But this is why we test ourselves. It's all good practice. It's all good practice for getting down to a single handicapper, knowing what you can do with certain clubs, getting your alignment right with certain clubs. 200, just get myself in front of the green for a chip on one putt par. 
come round. Do you know what? That might make it. That might make it. No, that's perfect. I'm well happy with that. It's probably about 180 just to the left front of the green. Fifty-six. Get that ass nice. Just off the top of the thing, top of the grass, land it short, run it on, make sure the club head's lining up with the flag. Could have been better. Jesus. That rolled a bit further away than I thought. All right, par putt. Oh, that was lucky. Side door bogey. 181 yards. Borrow someone's tee that they've left here. I should really be going four iron. I've got a five iron in my hand. But I think it's wind with. So I think a five iron, if I hit it right, should land short and roll on. Pushed it right. Pin eye golf kicks. So it was just alignment that was wrong, or the swing line was wrong, but I want to try and just land it on top of that mound and let it feed down to the flag. Oh, that's perfect, perfect. Oh, that must have got held up in the rough and the, oh no, it's on the green. Could have done with a bit more legs there. Still gives me a par putt. Big par putt coming up. No, you got to hit it. Got to hit it. Got to hit it. Another bogey. Par four, 403 yards. Pole in the middle of the fairway is the line. All I've got is a four iron. Just down the middle. It's all I need to give myself a chance. And that looks good. As we say, I'll take that. Golf geeks, that drive with that four iron's not that, not that bad. I'm normally only up just up there with my driver. But I've still got 208 in. It's wind behind, but I definitely ain't got that in this club, even with a wind. It's fat out of that rough, but it's up there. It's tough, that rough. Golf geeks, I underestimated myself from that shot. I'm actually just right of the flag at the green, which is uh, very unexpected. I'm pin eye, pin eye. Look, I'll turn that around. Don't know if you can see that over there, it's a bit blurry, but yeah, I'm pin eye, just to the right of the green, get in. So, made it here for two. Be nice to chip in birdie. Oh, unlucky.
That is shocking, absolutely shocking. My, my putter, as I went back, got caught in the grass. I should have just, I should have just reset, but I didn't, and I pushed it. Another bogey. Amateur golfers. That is criminal what I've just done there. I'm an amateur golfer. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking like I'm not an amateur golfer, but I do that a lot. Where something happens like that, that I should just reset. I should just walk away and stop and then start again, but I don't. It kills my golf, it kills my rounds because I've just got a bogey there when I was pin eye for two. I should have at least walked off with a par. So always reset. Anything puts you off, always reset. Stu, you know that. Start doing it, Jesus. 297 yard par four into the wind. Rain starting to come down and I couldn't be any further away from the clubhouse. No brolly, only a jacket. So, Dennis, I have more respect for what you did on that Springfield Cup now more than ever because I've gone around every hole with a bogey so far. So I'm playing your golf, bogey golf, but it's not, it's not easy just hitting irons. Not easy at all. Well done, mate. Foot slipped, took a chunk out of the ground, but it's down there. Four iron, that's gone about 120 yards. That wind's colossus. And I've lost another two, oh no, it's down there. This could be called the four iron round, geeks. That's all I've used today is a four iron. <laughs> At least I'm good that I'm buying another one. 131 into the wind, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Aim out of that pylon with a wind. Hopefully it should come round. I'm on a downhill slope, so it should do that shot shape. And it stayed out there, dead straight out there. That's crazy. Not sure I can get a club on this, just for the, maybe. Maybe. Oh, this is wet. Jesus. The less said about that last part, the better. Uh, hole 16, 367 yard par four into the wind. With no woods, this is, just makes it so much harder. But we crack on. It's good to keep playing golf, keep getting the swing going. It's not far at all. It's tough golf, it's tough golf.
As I'm playing this ball, Golf Geeks, I'm sure you can all work out what's happened. The open, tightless Pro V1 golf ball is lost. Got to the, not my ninth hole for this little video and lost it on my tee shot. This is tough golf. In these conditions, which is quite windy, this is tough just using irons. Round over. Round over. I went in the water there, geeks. I've just dropped one down just to finish the round off with this irons. 50 degree. I tried to work a little bit on my swing today, but. So golf geeks, I'm walking off the ninth hole. After playing nine holes with just irons. And the conclusion that I will uh, come up with this is 
Dennis, I have more respect for you than I did now, than I did from watching the Springfield Cup, mate. You, uh, to go round and do that well with just using irons off the tee was a pretty, a pretty darn decent thing to do, mate. I tell you, you've done well to qualify without a wood, because uh, basically my conclusion for that is I need drivers, I need free woods, I need fairway woods, because I can't, all right, the conditions today didn't help. It was very windy and a lot of the holes are in to win. So hitting only a four iron, right, I was losing like 50 yards per shot, but still, I should have been, I should have been a lot straighter, but it's difficult without woods. You get, you're losing yards and I need them. I need that for my distance to get my scores down. I mean, I've gone round this back 1950, which is pretty poor for me. I've been going round it in 41, 42, and you know, that's, that's been my sort of level of golf with my driver and my woods and that. So it just shows that I do need them woods. But as an experiment, it was good. Uh, I need to improve my iron play, that's for sure, because obviously it shows that I use hybrids a lot more than I use irons. So there's something to practice. There's something to get into, uh, get down the range and look into sorting out. But um, also, Lost the open golf ball, which is a bit of a, a bit depressing because I quite liked having that in a bag. It was a nice little thing to have, but I lost that on the 18th or the, the 9th for me, but the 18th over here. But again, I'll go back to it. Well played, Dennis, mate, for qualifying for that Belfry Springfield Cup, mainly using your four iron off the tee. So fair play to you, mate. Well done. Um, I need woods. They're going back in the bag. And lastly, anybody want to buy an Odyssey putter? Because that ain't never going back in the bag again.